Dear students, I hope you are all well and studying in your home. Last week, we discussed about some mechanism and significance of photosynthesis and I hope you were read about or understand the some experiments to demonstrate that why water carbon dioxide is necessary for this process today an important experiment we read about to prove that oxygen is involved in photosynthesis so for this first what is the procedure first take a beaker and fill it up to three fourth with water keep hydrilla plant at the bottom of the beaker then you have to cover the plant with the help of an inverted short stamped funnel keep the funnel slightly raised from the bottom of the speaker for free flow of water as shown in figure 5.10 okay so you can see in this figure an experiment that proves that oxygen is evolved during the process of photosynthesis okay it is a test tube and yeah, water is filled in a beaker okay and this is the hydrilla plant so a short funnel also is placed just above the hydrilla plant this is the short funnel so next is invert a test tube full of water over the funnel stem and place the apparatus in the sunlight for some time so what do you observe bubbles are seen arising from the plant these rise upwards and get collected in the test tube as a result water level lowers down in the test tube okay so bubbles are seen arising from the plant okay so water level also goes down when sufficient amount of gas is collected in the test tube it is tested with the help of a glowing splinter the glowing splinter burst into flames because it observe that we need we know already that oxygen is necessary for fire catching fire okay so it burst into flames so what inference from this experiment that the gas is test gas in the test tube is oxygen and is more as compared to atmospheric air hence oxygen is evolved in photosynthesis so to increase the rate of the reaction add a pinch of sodium bicarbonate which will act as a source of carbon uh, dioxide and the oxygen bubbles will evolve faster okay so you can do this uh, if you read uh, earlier experiment in which uh, we demonstrate the carbon dioxide okay is necessary for photosynthesis so annual co3 is put in a beaker and in other beaker just annual okay so in the beaker in which annual co3 the process of photosynthesis take place okay and in other not same here another experiment to prove that ovo2 is evolved during photosynthesis in land plants also okay in first we uh, see in aquatic plants now we read about the land plants put a living rat on a glass slab and cover it with a bell jar as shown in figure 5.11a take a potted plant and keep it on a glass slab cover the plant with a bell jar keeping a living rat in the setup as shown in figure make both the setups airtight with the help of vaseline keep both the setups in the sunlight okay so you can do this experiment so what do you observe the rat in setup b will uh, with a potted plant remains healthy whereas the rat is set up in a without potted plant dies the rat in setup a without potted plant dies because of absence of o2 the rat in the setup b with potted plant survive because o2 is released due to the photosynthesis of plant so this is the experiment next is to demonstrate that different wavelengths of light have different effects on rate of photosynthesis so for for this experiment you have to take a potted plant with and a discharged leaves okay how you discharge its leaves by just putting 
inside in a room uh, for two to three days then put one leaf in ganox uh, potometer large light screen box having glass strips of three different colors that is blue red and green okay this is also ganox uh, large light screen box okay as he made potometer also keep the plant for two to three hours in the sunlight and then test for a starch the part under red color has the maximum starch dark blue black color with iodine solution okay blue has lesser starch and the area covered by green color shows no starch formation no blue black color with iodine solution so what inference we can conclude that photosynthesis takes place in the visible part 3800 to 7800 angstrom wavelength of electromagnetic radiations different wavelengths of light influence photosynthesis differently blue and red regions of the visible spectrum are the most effective and green the least okay so in two regions blue and red the most uh, photosynthesis process occur whereas in green least next experiment is to prove that starch is produced by green plants during photosynthesis this is very a uh, simple experiment and i hope that you read in your class 6 also so for this experiment you have to take two well watered potted plant with green leaves keep one of the potted plant in dark to discharge it and the other in sunlight for 8 hours discharge one leaf from the discharge potted plant and one leaf from the non discharged potted plant boil both the leaves in water and then place them in methylated spirit or alcohol for 15 minutes then wash the leaves with water and test it with iodine solution okay so we have to just boil uh, this discharge leaves will add alcohol then wash in water then dip in iodine solution okay so if it did not turn to blue black and what will be happen if it turned to blue black color so you observe that the leaves turned colorless when they were kept in methylated spirit or alcohol after adding iodine solution the leaf which was taken from the discharge plant did not turn blue black why the leaf taken from the plant kept in sunlight turned blue black because it's proved that starch is present in it so since the leaf kept in dark could not synthesize starch hence it gave a negative starch test whereas the leaf kept in sunlight synthesized starch and gave positive starch test with iodine solution in next class students we read about the carbon cycle so as you understand from a term cycle that it comes to its original forms okay by converting in different forms so carbon is the building material of all the organic compounds formed in the living cells the carbohydrate in the form of lipids proteins and nucleic acids in the biosphere there are four sources of carbon first is carbon dioxide present in air second carbon dioxide present in air gets dissolved in water easily next carbonates of earth's crust derived from rocks these gives rise to carbon dioxide by the chemical changes the fuels such as coal and petroleum products produce carbon dioxide after burning okay so these are the different sources of carbon in the earth so how you can define this carbon cycle scientifically that a series of chemical reactions in which carbon as an element from carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere used by used up by living organism in their body processes and is again returned to the atmosphere okay so this is called a cycle because use of carbon as an element by living organism from carbon dioxide and again return to atmosphere okay so you can define as a series of chemical reactions in which carbon as an element from carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere
okay this is the punch line used up by living organism in their body processes and is again returned to the atmosphere so this is called a carbon cycle okay further things in the next next chapter we will read about it okay next class so i hope you will understand the experiments of this photosynthesis okay if you have any doubt you can ask me if you don't understand the any experiment from the experiment number one to four okay or find any confusion because these all experiments are very easy to understand and uh, write up with a well known okay so we'll meet in the next class thank you